I'm not gonna lie, you've gotta study, so. Today, I'm gonna be talking about how I got into Columbia and how you can too. Now, a little bit of a disclaimer, this isn't the only way to get into an Ivy League school, but this is what worked for me, and I hope it works for you too. So I wanna give you guys like a little quick overview of my application experience and like process. Um, so I applied early decision to Columbia. Um, my early action school was SMU. These are the only two schools I applied to because I did get an early decision. So like that's binding. I didn't apply anywhere else. Um, what else? I did not a legacy at Columbia. I had no connections to the school whatsoever. Um, I would have been a legacy at NYU if I had applied there and I was planning on applying there. I do like NYU a lot too. Um, but yeah, as far as Columbia goes, like, no connections, like, no legacy, no donations, <laughs> like, so, the first thing I want to talk about is stats. The number one question I get asked on TikTok, in my comments, on my lives, even in my DMs, is, I would love to go to Columbia, it's my dream school, what were your stats? Now, here's the thing about that question. I don't really think that knowing my stats is going to help you guys out that much, because here's what you have to know about stats when you're applying for college. They're important, but they just get you in the door. You need to have excellent grades, you need to have a great GPA, you need to have a really good score on the SAT, ACT, whatever test you end up taking. Because that just gets you like on the same level with all the other applicants applying to these elite schools. So for me, I guess I'll just tell you guys because you ask so much, um, I did have above a 4.0 GPA in high school. I had pretty much all straight A's. I had maybe one B plus, two B pluses in like math classes. So in a class that wasn't my like focus, my focus or my intended major in college. Um, what else do you consider stats? Let's see. Stat on oh, my SAT score. And I took the SAT, I took the old one, um, and I had a perfect score on the reading and the writing sections. Not on the math, again, not a big math person over here, but um, again, in the sections that really mattered to like my application as a total package, I had a really good score. It was a perfect score. So that just like helped me, I think, so much just like get in the door. Um, oh, I got a text. So how do you do that, right? How do you study? How do you get good stats? It takes a lot of self-discipline, and that is the second thing I'm going to talk about. A little bit about my study method, what I did. Um, honestly, it might not sound fun to you. You might say, this sucks, I'm never going to do this, I hate it. All right, then click off, bye. But if you do want to get into Columbia or a similar school, and you want to do it through working hard, studying, getting those good grades. This is what I did, okay? I was like living, breathing school, right? And for me, that meant that during high school, you know, I never drank, didn't do any drugs. And now that sounds pretty basic, okay? But I feel like for me, always being in this like mental state of achieving like my goal really helped me personally, right? It's, everybody's different. For me, that's what worked. And here's the thing, right? I went into ninth grade with like this mindset of not that I wanted to end up going to an Ivy League school or Columbia or anything, nothing like that, right? I just knew that after the three, three and a half years when it came for me to apply for colleges, I wanted to be in the best position possible. I wanted to put myself in like the, the just the best way I could as being competitive for these colleges. I had no idea where I wanted to go, okay? None. I could have ended up wanting to go to a completely different school, but I wanted to have that option open for me, right? So I never, I didn't want to look back and think, oh my God, if only I had studied for that test more, if only I had worked harder on that paper, that I didn't want to have that mindset. I wanted to be ready. So what I did is from ninth grade on, if I was studying, if I was you know, getting my homework done and I was getting distracted, I always asked myself, if the, is the thing that I'm about to do, that I'm getting distracted and wanting to do, whether it's like, you know, whatever, like watching TV or going on YouTube watching like Bon Appetit, I don't know, whatever. Whatever I wanted to do, is that going to help me immediately achieve my goal of finishing this assignment, whatever, being in that position of having the most choices when it comes to college, okay? Again, was not thinking of Columbia at this point at all. Um, that worked for me. Other things I did, other little tricks. I made my desk, my study area, a no phone zone. I literally put up signs that said that I would not be on my phone during my studying time, during my homework time. I was focusing, I was studying other stuff that I did. Oh, when it came to uh, final exams, mid-March exams, my high school, we didn't have finals. We had uh, exams, final exams in March before spring break. 
but like that week we had a study week and then during exams I deleted every single social media app off my phone Instagram um, just like other random stuff right just deleted all of it games no games on my phone during midterms uh, exam studying time no games at all um, I really just tried to minimize distractions and yeah like it takes a lot of self-discipline and honestly, like now in college, I don't study like that. I study with my phone out. I study listening to music, whatever, you know. Um, but in high school, that's really what I needed to do. And that's what worked for me. And that's why I got those like really good grades and why I was in that position academically. Um, yeah, you might not like how it sounds, okay, but it works. Okay, so now you have those excellent grades, good stats, like everybody's so concerned about. <laughs> You're on the level playing field with everybody else applying. They're looking through your applications and they still just throw it out the door. Why? It's because you weren't standing out in the applicant pool. The number one way to get into Columbia, to get into an ID, is you need to be unique. You need to stand out because they are going through the applications. They are trying to replace you. They are trying to figure out, like, okay, this person's similar to that person. We don't need both because think about it this way, right? I I'm a writer, so I'm going to use a little bit of, like, a writerly analogy here, but just bear with me, okay? <laughs> so think about it. Like, they're writing a book. And they have lots of different characters in the book. That's the new class, right? They're bringing in some, you know, new people in the new chapter of the book. And they want people, they want characters that work well with the characters that are already there. And they want them to work well with each other in terms of, you know, plot, all the stuff that a good book needs, right? They want to have like a diverse, and I don't mean diversity in the like, in the cashy over diverse way. I mean diversity in terms of interests, everything, you know, they just, they don't want a bunch of, a class of the same people. That would be so boring. Who would want to go to that school? Nobody, right? Then it would close. Anyway, so they want to have a really diverse class made up of unique individuals. They don't want a bunch of carbon copies of the same student that they want like personality, they want unique interests, like passions, all this stuff. So you need to stand out and be unique. And that has to show on your application. Now that's basically what it is. You want to have like a brand. You want to be able to sum up your whole application in like a couple of sentences, like this is who I am. This is what I will add to the school, right? And this is why I need to go here because this is what I will take away from it. And it'll be like a mutual process, right? So for me, mine was that I'm a writer that approaches writing in a creative way from a different perspective. And that I really value learning about different perspectives in order to like, enrich mine and like enrich my work and tell like multiple stories right um so i wrote my essay should i say it in this video should i should i leave it for another video i'm gonna tell you guys what i wrote it about in general right and i'll make another video where i go way more in depth about what exactly and how exactly i did it um i wrote it about a twitter account that i ran at the time because it really fit my brand my brand identity of approaching writing creatively and uniquely um, so I talked about that. I also talked a little bit about, you know, comedy writing, whatever. It was, it was a funny essay too because I usually write humor stuff. Um, that's a, a note though, side note, if you're not like funny, don't try to write a, com a comedic uh, college essay because it's not going to go over well. So, but anyway, the whole point is that you want to stand out. And in terms of the like marketing yourself as like unique to the school, you want to have a really complete package. Like for me, that was creative writing and also my interest in art history. Um, and now I'm a creative writing major here with a concentration in art history. Um, so yeah, I mean, I've been writing for as long as I can remember. I've always loved writing, but as far as like my high school classes go, I definitely emphasize that more by taking like AP Lit, AP Lang, just like the usual APs. Um, I also took AP Psych and AP Art History um, and, oh, AP US to a push, great class. Anyway, <laughs> um, so yeah, I definitely tried to gear my schedule and my time in high school towards my interest in creative writing. I also did a independent study my junior year where I wrote a book that's about 400 something, 450 maybe pages long. Um, that was about like art history too. So I really just tried to have a very complete, um, just not just my, it's, it goes beyond your transcript, it goes beyond your schedule. It's like your entire application and it's a very holistic process. I think a lot of people think that college admissions is more of a numbers game and maybe that's true for some schools, but in my experience, what I've heard um, in terms of Columbia, like schools like Columbia, the other Ivies, 
it's way more holistic than people expect like yeah you need your grades to get them to look at your application but once they open that file and they're like okay this person has the grades we know that they can succeed academically here they're way more interested in like what makes you unique and who you are as a person it's also super important to come through in your interview i loved my columbia interview experience actually super interesting super funny story i might make a whole different video just about my interview my interview process um but just like one thing i want to highlight from that because it kind of goes back to like having that brand having that like like your own hook that like they can kind of sum up your whole application in a couple sentences and again mine was like the whole writing thing um uh, during my interview one of the questions that i was asked was what do i like to do for fun and i had just been talking about like um, teen conservatory acting program down at Stella Adler. Um, so I just been talking about that, and then he asked, "All right, what what else did you do for fun?" And I said, "Commuting." I really told this like very like well respected alum of Columbia, me like a like literally a senior in high school, just being like, "I like to commute for fun." And he was like, oh, really? I've never heard anybody say that before. <gasps> Guys, I was like dying. So I said, yeah, I love to commute and go on the train because I can look out the window. I can like observe things. I can like look at the people. I love to people watch. And that really influences my writing. And I brought that total mess of an answer back to my hook, back to like what my application was really about, which is me as a writer. Um, so that's kind of like just a little sneak peek at my interview video and also um just something to keep in mind during the application process you really want to know who you are and i think that's also just like part of fit with the college like if you just be yourself know who you are and really let that shine let your voice shine let your personality shine through your application don't try to be like the perfect what you think the perfect like Columbia student or Harvard or Yale whatever student is because guess what a lot of people do that and then their all applications look the same and what happens to ones that look the same and that look replaceable they just don't let you in right because they're like we already have one of those we don't need like 50. So basically if I had to sum everything up I would say yeah you want to get those really good stats you want to get amazing grades so they look at your application and really consider you. Second thing is that yeah it's going to require a lot of hard work discipline um, throughout the process, but it all comes down to being unique, standing out in your application. Um, and I will do another video about, you know, how to ace your interview, how to write an amazing college essay, that stuff that really matters. Yeah, that's pretty much it. That's how I got in. You know what? It worked. It worked for me. Probably will work for you too. Um, but I just, something I want to emphasize, guys, is that I, when I started out like 9th, 10th grade, I had no idea where I wanted to go to college. None. And I get like people in ninth grade, even younger, messaging me saying Columbia is my dream school. And that's great that like you have a good idea of what you want so early on, but really keep an open mind throughout the process. Because like I I wasn't set on Columbia in ninth, tenth grade. I wanted to go to NYU, maybe I knew I wanted to be in the city, but you know, I didn't I didn't have a set idea of like where I was gonna go. Um I was just focusing on working hard and putting myself in the position where I would have the most choices. And I think that's what you should think about too, as you guys start working on your applications. Um, yeah. Alright guys, thanks so much for watching my first ever YouTube video. I hope it wasn't too much of a mess. I'm still figuring this out. Thanks for bearing with me. I will have some more videos for you coming soon. More college stuff, more like New York City stuff, um, Q&As, uh, whatever. Comment below what else you want to hear from me. Anyway, thanks for watching guys. I'll see you all really soon. Bye!